Hi guys and welcome to the England Dream. I'm Luke and this is Straz Gaming and this is a new series on the channel. A little mini series really um, because it's something I've always wanted to see England do and I don't think I'll ever see them do it in real life and that is to see them win the World Cup. Obviously last time England won it, it was 1966 uh, and it's been a, a long long hard time of um, just heartache and penalty shoots and shootouts and just them not making it that far into the competition really um, especially over the past few years we've played major tournaments so I'm going to take over England I'm hopefully going to get them qualified first because obviously we've still got a few uh, World Cup qualifiers to do against Slovakia, Slovenia, Lithuania and Malta um, hopefully should be an easy Easy rest of group stage, really, hopefully. Um, fingers crossed. Uh, we are currently second in that table. Um, we need to win. We need to just beat everyone else and just finish first and show that we're here and we're going to win this World Cup. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Um, I've never managed an international team on Football Manager, so I don't even know what it's like. Um, first of all, there is a squad here. Uh, I need to have a look. Obviously, Dynamics is massively down. And I have noticed, actually, being as an international manager, you don't have to worry about the Dynamics. It is completely uh, completely gone. So, morale, apparently, no one's happy. Uh, but we'll have a quick look to see, let's put it position-wise, and see who they've picked so far for me to maybe work with with the up-and-coming games. Um, so, we've got Joe Hart, um, goalie. Uh, we all know... Joe Hart, we all know what he's like. Freestyle potential. I may not play him. I may be looking at using either Jack Butland or Jordan Pickford, um, which seem to be a lot better prospects. And, well, hopefully the better goal is. Uh, we're just going to have to see how they're doing this within the seasons. I'm going to try and pick on just performance and see how, how well they do. Um, we've got Cahill in defence. Three-star player, maybe not getting the team. Phil Jones, he's pretty decent. He's a four-star. Brian Bertrand, yeah, a good, a good, decent left back. But I'm sure we've got the likes of like Danny Rose and all that. A lot of Danny Rose is there. Speaking of the devil, but there's a few injuries I can see. Um, who else we've got? Obviously, we've got Harry Kane, Daniel Sturridge, Marcus Rashford. Harry Kane, I've not even looked at his stats in this game. Obviously, because we've only been playing with Leicester, he's, we don't look at our likes of. Harry Kane and 18 finishing, he is pretty much going to be our main striker that we're going to be trying to work around. Uh, Rashford, I'll be playing him. Uh, Danny Welbeck, Jack Wilshere, obviously he's injured. We've seen him in the last to save. Might not make the team. Um, Sterling, again, he's looking like a quite a good, solid player in this football manager. Last In the last one, he didn't end up being that good of a player. And, I ended up picking him up quite cheap for one of my previous saves in a Football Manager 2017. And, well, yeah, he did all right for me. We've got Adam Lallana as well um, as a, an attacking midfield option. Deli Alley, Ross Barkley, Jordan Henderson. So we've got a decent team to kind of work with. Uh, we've got the under-21s team as well. Um, let's have a look at potential. Who's Lewis Cook, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Reese Oxford... So we've got some some decent players, I think, coming through the ranks as well. But I only want to just get to the World Cup and try and win it one time off. So maybe these guys here aren't going to get a chance to uh, to play in this uh, this series. But we'll have a look. We'll arrange some friendlies. We'll um, I'll probably bring some of these youngsters in just to see how they do. How do you even bring in players? National Paul, I take it this is how you call up players, is it? Can you? National team, and you can request reports. Uh, national report. I don't really know how to do it. This is just kind of like a scouting, I'm guessing. Um, I've got a lot to figure out of what to do. Maybe Fraser Foster, do you click on him? And do you. I don't really know. I need to. Uh, I need to figure out how to bring players into the. Uh, into the team. I'm sure it's easy enough. Um, but. Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, we can do a decent job and 
win the rest of the remaining games. I think, there we go, yeah, who did we get the draw against? Drew against Scotland, we lost against, I don't even remember, it's that long ago that I didn't even remember us losing against Slovenia. So, yeah, we've got a bit to do. Hopefully we can win the uh, win the World Cup. Did tell me to play four four two. That's not that's not how I'm going to be playing. Oh, that's actually no. It's saying that because that's my favourite per my favourite uh, formation that I want to play. But that's not going to happen. I'm probably going to be playing either something like this, maybe three at the back with some uh, wing backs. I need to have a look round to see what the best players are. I'm gonna have to go away and have a think about this. Uh, next time you see me will be for the uh, qualifier against. Slovakia on the 1st of September. So I'm going to go away, have a bit of a play, figure out how to manage an international team on Football Manager because I've never done it. So, yeah, that's that's going to be it for this this little intro video. Let us know what you think. Uh, let me know if you've, you've managed an international team on a Football Manager before because I certainly haven't and don't really know what I'm doing with it. So hopefully I can do England some justice and finish well and I've just realised we I oh know second I thought that's it meant second in the world then but anyway I'm rambling now so I'm just going to leave it here so thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next episode see you in a bit bye